Uncle's doing to be in your video. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, you're on. Oh, let me get it on. I'm on. What do you mean I'm on? It's going to start pulling people for you. It's going to start pulling people for me. We're live. Good evening. This is the first episode of Cooking with Cousin Zane. <laughs> what you doing, man? Trying to share. Why are you whispering? How do you share it on to the page? You can't figure that out now. We got to keep, we got to get started rolling. These vegetables are going to go bad sitting on here waiting on you. Jingle Bells is watching with you. Who's watching with you? It says you're watching with okay, you. Okay, so leave it there. If it says it's watching. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my uh, sidekick over here, I don't know what she's doing over there. We're trying to wait till we get some more people. We're live. We're gonna do some cooking with cousin Zane. Um, kind of reintroducing this vegetable seasoning. Very, very, very powerful seasoning. You don't have to have a million things. You run to the cabinet and you wanna open up your cabinet and you wanna go through a whole bunch of stuff trying to get vegetable seasoning because you want vegetables. Everybody's not like liking to vegetables. They want it to be a certain taste or they won't eat it. Um, so I've created a seasoning that will help you get past any of that problem. And it's called Zane Gray's Vegetable Seasoning. It's some good stuff. Um, I'm getting orders all the way from uh, Lane, Montana. I'm getting orders from Indiana, all over the place, Connecticut. I want to holler out my CT family because they've been real, real good at, at supporting me. We've been having a lot of repeat customer. So today I'm going to be doing a veggie sub because um, it's been a while since we had one. Um, I got all kind of vegetables here. I'm going to have green pepper, orange pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, some yellow squash, some green squash, some fresh broccoli, some onion, and some garlic. Can't forget that garlic because it's great. Throw some mushrooms in there. This is going to be a great, great meal. So without hesitation here, let's get to cutting up some of these things. And let's not forget to shout out to the Chicago Bears. Everything that we use in this kitchen is related to the Bears. We're going all the way to the playoffs. That's for all you haters. So we're going to cut up this onion first. Look how good that is. See? That knife cut like Khalil Mack, cutting back toward the quarterback. Y'all better watch out. And so, I have my beautiful wife here. She's over in the back, fumbling around, trying to do things that she normally do. What are you doing over there? Hey. 
I didn't say say hey. I trying said what do you Facebook Live? I, I said I said what are you doing? I'm trying to get Facebook Live to work. I'm trying to get it to work. Hi everybody. You did you speak one time or you speaking twice? Because I was making sure they heard me. You don't think they heard you the first time? No. Oh, hey y'all. Keep your eyes on it, guys. <laughs> so we're gonna get this orange pepper going in there. And want your peppers and things to try to be uniform a little bit, you know. Get that going over here. Get everything all cut up and everything. Get it all nice and going. And uh turn it. I'm doing what I always do. I'm what you stand over here? Yeah. So what you get on this side for? I see what you're doing. Oh you couldn't see from the uh, bad angle? Bad angle. Oh, bad okay angle. then. Oh, this green, green squash in here. A lot of protein and minerals and vitamins and vegetables. Of people who don't, you know, they don't want to eat vegetables. And this is just not for the vegans. This is for anybody. Because I'm not a vegan. I'll eat meat. Only thing you won't catch me messing with is uh, what's that stuff? Uh, I got a friend in Connecticut, my brother. Nigel one, aka Blackie. He he fries um what is that stuff? No, no, she see what I'm talking about, y'all? She gone. I'm you, it's supposed to be in the video, but she gone. Tofu. Yeah, that's it. Hey. Somebody toes. And shout out to his wife, Latoya. Hey, boo. That's her name, Boo Boo. Got some fresh garlic kid stuff is gonna be off the chain. And so watch watch how this Chicago bear knife cut down through that. Look at that. Can't beat this. Got some fresh broccoli over here. We go. Oh, can't okay. beat this red tomato. So, in 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 all essence, you want to get a nice, colorful rendition of vegetables. Is rendition a word? It is. It is. Yeah. I don't okay. know if you're using it in the right sentence, but it is. This is gonna be what? This this is gonna be so good you'll be singing a rendition. How good Zane Gray's vegetable season is. <laughs> So don't try to put me out there like that there. So in our actuality, when you're through cutting everything up, you reach out, then bang, that's what it looks like. Then we're ready to go. So now the most important part, look at this. We got it all in there, all ready to go. The most important part here is, my hands is clean, by the way, y'all. Don't, don't, don't think that they're not. Wash them off a little bit more so y'all don't be skeptical. Y'all can't taste it through there no way, but you're going to wish you had. And so, here's what I like to do. I like to grab me some vegetable oil. And we want to take this vegetable oil and just get this all good and wet up. And be afraid to use the vegetable oil. And then you want to get your pan going over here. Don't take long for vegetables now. Honey, did you pay the gas bill? <laughs> Of course, right, it works. Yeah, it works. She paid the gas bill, y'all. There we go. So then you want to put about two, maybe two and a half teaspoons of, of, of olive oil. Virgin, by the way. You don't hear tell them too many days now, but virgin on like this, you know, it's good virgin stuff. Hope I don't get beat up saying that. But anyway, we take this Zane Gray seasoning. Now this is the secret. You notice... I haven't used any other kind of seasoning, none whatsoever, besides this right here. I might throw some black pepper in there just for some coloration, you know, to say that. Let's get a close up of that. Give me this. <laughs> can I give a close it up says, to Facebook? And so, can I use this first? Okay, go okay. ahead. So then you you go on there and show Facebook that there. You want to get that going over there, y'all. I see you. Zane so, Gray's vegetable seasoning. You want to throw some chives in there, you know. Now, some people like using parsley, but I'll use the chives in here. So I'll get this thing open, right? Use some chives in here. Get my grease hot. Um, then you want to get you a nice spoon and you want to begin to mix things up. Get it all mixed up. You see, I got the squash. I got the Broccoli. I got the garlic in there. Once you get one good, one good uh, 
mixture up here and this stuff and get it going good. And don't be afraid to use the same grace. Don't be afraid to use it. A lot of people say, ah, oh, the first time. My brother, Bill, he's in Connecticut. Um, Hi, Brother Bill. Bill Marks, a.k.a. Deacon Lumsey. He's up there. He kept Zane Gray's seasoning in his cabinet for a whole year. Took out some speckly butter beans one night. And I told him, I said, man, you can't be afraid to use the Zane Gray's. And from that point to this one, he hasn't used anything else. Anything at all. And, and I'm telling you, somebody typing over there, who typing? In, in, I'm telling you. Jose said, hey. Tell him I said, hey. He said he wants one. <laughs> tell Jose, he tell, tell Revron he's the man. He said, how much seasoning do I use? He's a, he's a faithful <laughs> customer. Let's not leave out his wife, Rochelle. That's my sister. Hey, sis. She give me a hard time all the time, but she's my sister, so I um, love her. Blackie said, don't be afraid with exclamation marks. They use it all the time. That's what Blackie said? Yes. See, now we got this oil good and see how, how, how loose it is. A lot of people, what they do is, is they see stuff like this right here and they leave it up here. Hold on, I got to come over. Hold, hold, hold on, y'all. She got to come over. So right now what I'm going to do is just shut my fire all the way off. Cause this pan is good and hot. Honey, stick your hand on there and see if it's hot. Uh, I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> I'll pass. Just cause I got to, I'm gonna throw some black pepper in here, y'all. That's just for looks and everything and all. Uh, my boy, Big Rev, Big Rev, what's up, boy? And uh, we are, uh, we're gonna enjoy this. Now you listen, now listen. Now you see, I turned that pan off, trying to let it cool down a little bit so I don't burn up nothing. I've never burnt anything in my life. That's true. Now listen at this. See that? With the pan being off. So we got this going over here. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, what, 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 get that smell. Get that aroma. <laughs> smell that aroma? My camera, my cameraman had to laugh. It smells so good. <laughs> so... You see me, I got that in there like that. And throw me a little bit more seasoning on here. Don't be afraid to use it. Don't go crazy. I can do it like this here because I'm the creator and I know. Oh my God, that smells good. Let me let the outside people smell something right quick. Um, so we're gonna let that go like that on. Between medium and low. Oh, I gotta find my Throw a lid up there. My cooking so good, you gotta look through the top so you can see it cooking. So, we're gonna move to the next fit. Hey, okay. okay, y'all. Y'all don't wanna believe me. You want to get this stuff out of the way? This is where I come in. I'm the sous chef. I don't cook, but I'll clean. I'll do the dishes. I'll pull out all the stuff that he needs. And that's about as far as it goes for me. All righty. We found a pan. That's going to be done in a minute. Hey, Susie, sous chef, can you hand me that bread over there? What bread? What bread? That bread you've been passing by the whole evening. All righty. So, we're going to get to some sub bread. Gerald Clark says, what you cooking? Tell him what I'm cooking. I'm cooking veggies. Veggie subs. He's making veggie subs. Did y'all all get the close-up? I think I zoomed in enough. I got wheat bread for my rolls, I mean, for my sandwich. 
because sweet bread is the best. Right, guys. Kind of quiet in here because I get focused on what I'm doing. Leave that there for now. Let's don't forget them Chicago Bears. They're very important. Let's go back over here. We're going to stir a little bit and our vegetables, see how they're coming along. Look at that. And so, you got to move the lid so we can see. Move the lid so she can see. She ain't cooking, but she needs to see. Oh yeah, let this keep going. So this is gonna take a good, you want your vegetables to stay for a good 15, 10 minutes, 15 tops. You don't want them soggy. You want a little crunch in there. And uh, so you wanna keep this covered so the, uh, keep going and boost it up a little bit. Um, I think that any time that you can go to your cabinet, I want I want to really really focus on this. It's important and grab one seasoning that will take care of all your needs in your kitchen. It's very important. Um, low in sodium. I know a lot of people want to have oh, salt. We had a, a lady. Uh, we we're out at the flea market and um, lady bought some. We seen her in Pat in our uh, Walmart in a. Uh, she was telling us that her father had some issues with high blood pressure and stuff, kidneys and stuff, and the doctor said he couldn't use no kind of seasoning. He went, she took this and let the doctor check it out, and her father was eating it, and he's been eating it ever since. So in that way, it's a blessing that we can help someone that, that, that's used to eating good, flavorful food and be able to still enjoy it even in sickness. Now, I'm not saying it's a healer, don't. I, I got a few things in here. I got turmeric and some other stuff in there. You know, if I tell you everything in there, then it'll be a disaster. So we won't do that. But uh, this Zane Gray's vegetable seasoning is the truth. Uh, I stand behind it. Anyone that has ever tasted Zane Gray's vegetable seasoning has purchased. Um, other than that, this is what it really is. We uh, just waiting on our vegetables to get done. I'm a guy like this. I like to clean. As I as I go, because when I'm done cooking, clearing the kitchen is the last thing that's on my mind. So we're gonna get the vegetables a few more. Are you reading what people are saying, honey? Did you, are, you um, just, are you just there? Oh, uh, uh, Jose said, "Tell us a joke." <laughs> tell us a joke. Nigel Wan said, hey, Zane, and said, we lied, baby. We lied, bro. We lied. <laughs> well, I do have a joke. It's not my joke. I heard it. Uh, matter of fact, so I don't want, want nobody to get upset when I tell the joke. It's not my joke. I'm just going to tell the joke. Since I'm, since I'm church connected, young man was uh, uh, need, in need of a job. And um, he was... Uh, Talk to his buddy. He says, uh, I need a job. He said, you can't do my job because I sell Bibles. He said, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can do it. He says, okay, well, I'll take you to my boss, and I'll let him, and I'll let him tell you that you can't do it. So he took him to the boss. He said, well, I'm going to send you out. In order to stay here, you got to sell 126 Bibles. And my man said, I, 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 I can do it. I, I, I can do it. And so the man gave him the job. They went out. And the, the top salesman sold 126 Bibles. And he come back. He said, how many Bibles did you, did you sell today? He said, I, 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 
so, 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 156 Bibles. He said, no, you didn't. He said, yes, I did. He said, count my money. And so the man counted up the money, the boss counted up the money and everything. And uh, he said, he really so, he said, well, the next question I'm going to ask you, how did you do that? He said, when I knocked on the door, I said, 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 said would you like to, 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 to buy a Bible? And the person would try to close the door on me, and that's how I've done it. He says, no, you tell her, you ain't telling her. He said, okay, here's what I really said was, you, 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 you can either the, the, the buy this Bible or I could re 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 read it to you. <laughs> that's my joke, Jose. I hope you don't get me in trouble. <laughs> Uh-oh. We got these vegetables talking back. We got some. You got some juice in it. <coughs> Nigel Wansa, my doctor said I needed Baki Otami. Zane Gray's fixed me. That's what he said. Yep. Linda Booker, a loving sister. Hey, boo. Said loving it. Shelby right. said hey. Hey. Alvin said let's go hunting while you're cooking. I'm ready. I'm ready, bro. <laughs> Big Al, I'm ready. Um, these vegetables are, are, this is it. They're done. There's one more step that I do. I'm going to shut this off. Because I don't want, I don't want no soggy vegetables. Set this, and we're going to let this warm. I'm going to let this cook down just a little bit more. And, um, what? What you doing? I'm getting a close-up for you. They oh. want a close-up. Okay. Let me, get, let me get the rest of my stuff. You can... Well, I'll say a couple of more things. Um, Shelby said, I need a plate. You heard me? Huh? Shelby said, I need a plate. Okay. Capria said, can you do the pizza bread on live? Sure can. And it's anti-pasta squares, uh, Capria. If you see Scott Tisa. Tell her I've been calling her and she has not answered. When I see her, it's going to be bad for her. <laughs> That's your sister, Scott Tisa. Now, we've been calling and she ain't been answering, so. Uh, Kevin Halloran. Hey, Kevin. What's up, big cat? He said, how do I get some Z? Brother, you know all you got to do is say the word and it's yours. That's my, that's my man, Kevin Halloran. That's my brother from another mother. Now, where am I at? Look at that. that. Oh, my God, guys. I'm trying to tell you. And I will tell you, Kevin, and for anyone who's looking for it, our website is www.zanes, with an S, Carolina Seasoning, with a G, dot com. You can go to the website. We've been shipping all over the United States, so you can get it there. And all the information is on our Facebook page. So what the next move is here, we're going to get some provolone. And get it ready so it can go on the, on the uh, veggies. I don't want to go crazy with it. Hey, Kevin, I miss you, man. Provolone cheese. <coughs> you know, we could get Periscope too. We could. Right? But uh, we, we're, we're learning here. All right, so let me get this stuff together. Euless Booker said the season is the truth. Get you some. Bishop David Burgess said. Zane, you're a nut. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's because I know you. Capria said, "Go to the pot." Let me let me get a close up for you. Priya, that's a pan, baby. But I got you. There you go. It is. It's about to go down. So you want to get a spoon 
it has the, the, the holes in it so you don't soggy up your bread. You want to drain your, you want to drain that juice off of there. And you want to lay that in there like that. Kevin said, miss you too. When is the Food Network debut? Uh -huh. <laughs> coming soon. We're hoping coming soon. Yeah, in there like that right there. That's coming out beautiful. Baby, this is coming out almost as pretty as you. Aw, oh, thank you, boo. I just... Y'all look up extra. Y'all see us standing up there. That Zane Gray season is the truth, though. And so not only can you cook with this, say like if say if I was to taste this and I say, oh, I just need just a tad more, you could eat it raw just like this right here. Sprinkle that up there. Just like that. You want to take some, and this is the after effect. You want to take a little bit of Parmesan cheese and sprinkle that up there. And then now you want to take your provolone and lay it up there like that. Put that up there like that right there. Put that up there like that. Get these other subs ready over here. Cause this is going down. This is good stuff. It smells good. It smells good, don't it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is what we do here. We wanna shake a little bit more of that up there. That's gonna be that Zane Gray's. Then, once again, a little bit of Parmesan, like that there, you want to overwhelm it. Do that. You want to do this. I'm going to do some other, some other channels, not cha other videos. I can tell I'm just, I'm, I'm new at this. One more. We're going to taste this here. It will take but a second to taste this, y'all. Got my cameraman here doing a video. Yeah. Shout out to DJ. He's the best. We'll tell y'all about him. For those that are in North Carolina. Who goes all over? He goes all over the world. Don't worry about it. He sure will. Now you want to say, are you going? Are we going to the oven, sir? In a minute. In a Deborah minute. Lawson says, "Just what the doctor ordered: vegetables. Where's my seasoning?" It's on the way. I promise you, Deb. You're my sister. You know I don't play when it comes to family. <laughs> Night you want to say, sure does smell delicious. <laughs> and Alvin said, "Okay, channels. LOL." <laughs> Tell a. Hey. You 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 know better. Nigel said, I'm going hunting too. We know he not gonna be catching nothing. I know that's right. <laughs> Big rocks. <laughs> Alright, we gonna I'm gonna put this in the oven for Hold a on. few minutes on broil. Wait a minute. Try not to get a close up on my oven because my oven wait, is beat up. Wait, let me go ahead and put for that for everybody. Look, uh, get a shot of this, y'all. The light's bad. Back up, back up, back up. This is gonna be some good stuff. Alright, we're gonna put that in there like that. And we're going to be cleaning some things up while we're doing that because I can't take a kitchen that's a mess. So you want to get some plates out? Sure. So we can taste this. This right here, like that, right there. Honey, honey, get some plates out. Don't get Mmm. Oh, Lord of Jesus. Ah. I'm just having a, a moment of tasting here. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna move the cutting board for you, so you can put it right here. Cause we, when that come out, we're gonna we're gonna taste it. I'm glad we got we got the cameraman here, so he'll be able to be a witness to what I'm talking about. Move this board right here out of the way. We have been selling the seasoning for about two years now. 
and we've been doing pretty good with it so we've decided we're going to start doing some trade shows and um, our goal for 2019 is to try to get it into some of the box stores like Lowe's Food, Food Lion, Piggly Wiggly because people keep asking. We're actually in B&B Market in Sanford, so we really appreciate her and everything that she does. And every time she gets ready to sell out, she's always telling us about it. Um, and we appreciate all the support from the people who are actually just buying it because they enjoy it and they don't like mixing their, you know, seasoning and so forth. I'm a Michael Jackson fan, and uh, so I had to get my glove. I get this stuff. There you call this an up glove. <laughs> so. I'm going to pull all that stuff out of the oven because it smells good. Let's come out of the oven with this here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. What we want to do here is scoop this up off here like this right here. Put it on the plate. Scoop this one up like this right here. Put it on the plate. And scoop this one too. Put it on the plate. Don't want the, oh, there goes the good light. There you go. Move this out of the way. That's the end of the Alright, now the best part of this here sandwich is. It's being cut with the Chicago Bears knife. That's for you, Alvin. Look at that. Cut just like Khalil Mack does. <laughs> Look at that. Make them corners like Cohen does. And it's going to bust through your mouth like how it busts through those lines. I'm not going to all Chicago Bear players now, y'all. Don't get, don't get jealous. All right. So... Who wants to be the first victim? Well, DJ? You want to try? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get him a napkin. That's going to be good. Say hi to Facebook, DJ. What's up, Facebook? That's the video, video person. Tell them something about him. Hey, Facebook. Now, what do you do? Do you do the whole thing? Yeah, I'm going to do the whole thing. Okay. Now, what do you do, DJ? Um, video guy, uh, producer, music producer. Uh, anything with electronics, I'm pretty handy with that. Alright, let's see. Perfect, perfect. So if y'all need anyone, if you need him, give us a call. Can Facebook us, website? we'll give you all the information. Mm -hmm. no, well, just Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy, they can't see me chewing, Ooh, honey. I'm sorry. Get out of the way. Mm. This is always my job. I taste all the food. Give me your honest opinion. This is got meat in it. You hear that, didn't y'all? <laughs> See? That's what we've heard. Tastes like you got meat in it. Hand me that, hand me that right there. That dressing. I mean that scene. What is it? Yeah, that's what this is. This is good. Jane Gray vegetable seasoning. Kevin, you got to cry it, man. I'm trying I, to tell you. I always have to have meat. And when he said veggie, I was like, mm, I don't know if that's going to work for me. And I said, but I'll try it since you're cooking, doing your cooking video. Mm. It really does taste like it has something in there. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Mm. You want some water? No, I'll take one. Honey, you want some water? Mm-hmm. Now the next video I'll be doing, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home style. You not coming, camera baby. I didn't have people to see you. Oh my God. You. you don't give me. A, you don't give me a chance to get to the camera. You look cute in your chef jacket too. Jose, I'm trying my best not to bring the other Zane in. Tell her, tell her what to be scratching, but you know. Oh man, I'm trying to tell you, and, and the thing about this is, it's healthy. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? It's all natural. See my man finishing off this sandwich. He ain't doing that just cause. He doing that cause that sandwich. Good. Am I lying, bro? That sandwich. It's good. I'm trying to tell you. See this stuff right here? This stuff right here make you want to slap the cook. But don't put your hands on me cause I hit that. I'm trying to tell you. Mm. Quick and easy. I hope my mother don't get me talking with food in my mouth. But quick and easy. Vegetables still got a little crunch in it. Tasting really good. I'm trying to finalize this thing, but I can't stop eating it. Mm. What do you mean trying to go that? I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. We appreciate you. We'll see you hopefully next week. We'll do it again. Oh, yeah. Take we, care. We want Southern next weekend with some mixed greens, beans, or something like that. I got something for you. Bye. Bye. Get your artists in.